plaintiff, Jamila Johnson, was friends with the defendant, but she claims she is a very jealous person who likes attention from men. Jamila is suing because she claims after a night out, she and the defendant got into a fight and the defendant damaged her property and threw her dog across the room. Defendant Salethia Jackson says on the night in question, Jamila is the one who initiated the physical fight. Salethia claims the fight ended with Jamila pulling a knife on her. And she's countersuing because in the midst of the scuffle, Jamila rips Salethia's wig off. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. So I met the defendant about a year ago at a mutual friend's party, and I noticed that she loves attention. We'll go out to the club, and if like one of her male friends will compliment me, she'll roll her eyes or just give off a completely different That's vibe. That's a lie. Well, there it is. <laughs> and anyways, so she's That's very jealous, and she came down Labor Day weekend, the same weekend my boyfriend was in town, and he decided to take us out to the club. So we're at the club, we're That's drinking, her sugar daddy. having a great why do you your... call him Sugar Daddy? Because um, every time that we were on FaceTime, she would be getting in and out of the bed naked, and then she would show up with like five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. Not five thousand that. dollars. That's kind of what a Sugar Daddy is to me. But he's an older right. guy. I he thought... is. Okay. He's not that much older. Not Go that ahead. much, but he's older. So yeah, but not five thousand dollars. I wish. Anyways. Go ahead. Um, so, really, really, because I have so, I have stuff to show anyways, that you actually so did have that much money. So we go out next. We go out. Don't show that now. You running the price up for the other old guy. <laughs> <laughs> he got money. He has no. a lot of money. No. She, anyway. She made five hundred, fellas. Exactly. <laughs> she <don't mean> <laughs> okay. Well, she she get... make these old men pay five thousand dollars. <laughs> Quiet. So um she comes down to my new place, Labor Day weekend, and he takes us out to the club. We're having a great time. We're drinking. Um, as we're leaving the club, she hops in some random guy's car because she wants her ego stroke. She's not getting enough tension that night. So I told her, see, yeah, she's shaking her head. She agrees. So, anyways. Um, I told her, get out of the car. You don't even know this guy. It's a random guy. He doesn't even look interested into you. And she's like, no, we're just going to follow you to the next club. I'm like, girl, I okay. did not say that. Okay. You left me. So, I, you left me. Why would well, I, why so would I go with a random person? She wants to follow me to the next club. We leave. She calls me, and she's like, he doesn't want to go to the club. So I told her, meet me at my house. I did not. And I, I get to my to house. That as well. I get to my house. She's in my face, cussing me out, telling me I abandoned her at the club, which I didn't. I told her to follow us. I actually told so her I to get out the car. So I did say I abandoned you at the club. I actually told club. her to get out the car. She didn't okay. want to get out the car. Before we get into so, the heat of yeah, things, let me get her me. opinion on this. Go ahead and tell me what happened. Um, most of that is true, but half of it is a lie as well. Um, the day it started before, whenever we went out, we had a lot of fun, and um, he took us out. We had amazing time, and I told her that I was ready to go home because I was tired. I'm getting older. I'm, I get tired. So oh, she no. said it's fine. I'm 27, but I'm like <laughs> I'm like 60. I'm 60 you're in my getting heart. You're getting too high. That's what's <laughs> happening. You ain't getting older. You're getting too drunk and high. That's probably, yeah. yeah I mean, well, you were smoking um, that weed half the night and you are tired. <laughs> out by 10. Okay, yeah, you're out by 10. I'm, I'm the drinker. Yeah, she's the smoker. Anyway. Go ahead. But, um, so, go ahead. Um, so whenever we made it back to her, her house, um, I was under the impression I was going to stay and sleep in her bed because that's all she we're has. talking about this incident or typically? The, the day before that okay. led up to this situation, mm -hmm. he came in in, in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. She handed me a blanket and she told me to go to sleep uh, outside on her floor. And I stood there and I was so shocked. And then she told her dog, Taz, to come out there with me. What? I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. I was like, are you kidding me? You're really going to make me sleep on the floor? I was too drunk. You have a couch? She don't have nothing. I didn't have furniture she at have the time. No I just moved, like, None. a month. And then, so why are you going to tell me to come up here? Yeah. <laughs> furniture. You right. actually bought so me a furniture, furniture that you weekend. You a Thank big you. liar. <laughs> you know, $5,000, he can't give her furniture. How <laughs> oh, man giving her $5,000? Thank please. you. Thank you.
Thank you. And this woman came by furniture. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. So Go anyway, ahead. Um, so you after playing that, the game backwards. <laughs> after that situation happened, um, I went and I fell asleep in my car. Came back the next morning. They were still cuddled up in a bed. I went to church and then I came back. I wanted to talk about the situation, but I just felt some type of way, and so I drove around for like two hours. I have While text messages. I have text messages. Yes, you are looking for furniture. Mm -hmm. Yes, ahead. after the after the fact though. Go that ahead. was that was after. Did you all make her sleep on the floor though? This is what happened. We're leaving the. We're about to leave the club. It's three in the morning. I give her my car keys and this my apartment. This is the night keys. before. This, this is the night before. Uh -huh. And I told her, key. okay, go home. If you're tired, we'll mm -hmm. stay, and he'll he'll take. Me Got home. it. I get to my house. I'm calling her, blowing her up. She sleeps in the car outside the strip club. Okay. So she was gonna sleep in the car. Mind you, it's four o'clock in the morning, almost five. So the sun's about to come up. Yeah, sleep on the floor. We're about to crash. You was about to sleep in the car. Go ahead, ma'am, because we have to get to the okay. next incident. Yes. Yes. So, so this lying. incident, what happened? So, what, so I don't know. I was drunk. I'm not going to lie. I was. Mm -hmm. She disappears. She straight disappears. And so I go outside, yes, looking for her. I was directly in the front. This dude has a Jeep, um, a Jeep Wrangler, super nice car. I love it. It's a very beautiful car. So I say, hey, I'm hey jump can in. I go in ahead <laughs> and see what, what your car looks like and stuff like that? I was standing right here. His car is where she is. Mm -hmm. We're having a conversation. As the conversation is going on, I'm looking for my friend. Mm -hmm. He's talking to me as regular conversation. He literally goes and opens up every single door, including his trunk. And he says, let me show you around. So then I'm show he's showing me around the car. I do get into the car. I'm sitting in the car. I have one foot out of the car. Because, yes, you're right. I do not know this man. But I'm still looking for my friend, and I'm entertaining myself at the same time. OK, she pop up out of nowhere. <gasps> where you been? And stuff like that. And I was like, where have you been? And so she was like, we're about to leave. She was really drunk. We were drunk. Long story short, I come back to her house finally, and I'm sitting there. She said she was there already. She wasn't there. I get upstairs. I'm sitting by the door like this. She comes, and she's drunk, and she runs around the corner. And like right when she gets right here to me, to the door, she's like, B, you don't get in the car with strangers. And so after that, I got mad. I started yelling. We started arguing and stuff like that. She gets closer to me, I get closer to her, she pushes me, I muffs her, and then after that, we start fighting. I forgot I used to be young one time because I'm sitting back here, what? She got in the car with a guy just because he had a fancy car outside? And I forgot that that's we one of the main things we did in our 20s. Pimping. That yeah. was our main object, give me a brief car because the women will come and get in there with you the time you meet them. <laughs> Because that was part of that youth culture. So I understand. I was doing some work in Atlanta for a few months, right. and a couple of times I went out, uh, even at the restaurants, they'd have the men would be out there sitting. I mean, they are fabulous in Atlanta. So I'll go out, and we come out. Guys are leaning on Maseratis, uh, uh, Ferraris, Rolls Royces, Bentleys. They just stand out there like, you know, and then they just tell the women, come here. They don't even go up to you. Oh. They just stand on the car, and the women walk up to the car. <laughs> and they sit outside the restaurants and the club, have these two, three hundred thousand dollar cars just be leaning on them, right? Right. And the women walk up to them, right? <laughs> yeah, you know they do. I saw them all All right, I just wanted to tell you, I do understand. We didn't have that type of money back in the day. We tried to get a $500 car <laughs> to impress the women. These guys got $500,000 cars, yeah. and they don't even talk to them. They just sit back. <laughs> <laughs> you see what it is? Yeah. Now you can keep walking, or you can come on over here. Mm -hmm. If you don't come, one will. Mm -hmm. That's true. Oh, God. See, that's true. <laughs> he know I know it. Oh, yeah, I don't think I know what's happening out there. The judge ain't square as y'all think. I know a lot. All right. So you tell me about the fighting so we can see who's liable for this okay. damaged property. Yes, yeah, so we get to my house, and she's actually in my face. I tell, her, I tell her to step back, get out of my face. You're in my home. You don't disrespect me in my own home. So we're just going at it, arguing, and then she did muff me in my face, and then we started fighting. So after we fight, she starts tearing up my property. She throws my 50-inch TV, my boss, my jewelry box, all my perfumes that were on my dresser. She just slides it all off. She throws my little eight-pound dog across the room like he's a rag doll, like he did something to her. So I'm telling her, get out of my house, get out of my house. She won't get out of my house. So I have to go to the kitchen and pull a knife on her and tell her to get out of my house. 
She finally gets out. She's like, I'm going to call the police. Go ahead. I'm going to call the police, too. You saving me time. So the police gets there. They write down everything that's broken, all the damages. I have pictures of all the damages that she did right here and the Let's police see. report What did the police also. do about it? Um, they just took down the information, and then that was it. Did you try and press charges since oh. you're suing her? These are... Did oh, you try and press charges? Uh, no, I didn't press charges. Why? I just didn't see the need to. I was gonna sue her, so... Ma'am? Um, so... How did uh, the attack start? Who attacked uh, who first? That's the issue. Uh, she did say back up and stuff like that, but whenever she was... She did that, the second time, she pushed me. So after that, that's whenever I muffed her. So then from there, we started fighting. She was pulling hair, and that's whenever I hit her head against, like, some little metal thing. Whenever I did that, she pulled my wig off. And that's whenever my wig went flying. Okay? So after that, I was free. So we're fighting. Like, we're really fighting now. So her TV is literally, like, right by her door. She pushes me into her TV while I'm going <laughs> down. I go like this, and I, the TV falls down. And I oh, push no. myself or whatever. I didn't fall You're all the way down, You're gonna lie in court. Though. Are you serious? Anyway, <laughs> so after that happened, we're fighting still or whatever, and so then I get her on the bed. So on the bed, I'm, like, holding her down. And I actually I like got you go. on the bed, and I holded you down. I've had her down like this. Her dog jumps on the bed out of nowhere. He's a cute little, you know, he just jumped on the bed or whatever. So, yes, I got nervous, and I said, like that. And so... <laughs> <laughs> she literally did. picked my he dog did. off the bed and no. threw him. I went like, I said, like the that. The only and question I was here like... today is who was the aggressor? And let me see what the police said. But secondly, uh, who had an opportunity to retreat? From what I'm hearing, you all were face to face and yelling and threatening, and somebody pushed the other when in fact, one of you all had the opportunity to retreat. They could have said, girl, ain't nobody bothering with you and walked away. Nobody did that. You all instead engaged in combat and physically fighting each I other. I ran after she uh, got the knife. After yeah, she got the course. knife, I ran. I told you multiple times to get out of my house. I had to get I the knife. I ran. Police have concluded this was mutual combat, and so mm -hmm. am I. Have a good day, ladies. Both your claims are dismissed. Bye-bye. <laughs>